Welcome to Altar Guild. Worshiping together is the very heart of our life as Christians, and your work makes that possible. The spirit with which you do this work is more important than doing it perfectly. In this episode, we'll review how to take care of the candles. We'll start by reviewing how to refill the oil candles. The oil candles include the altar candles on the altar and the office lights, or the candles that are behind the altar in the nave, as well as the altar candles on the altar in the chapel, and the torches that the acolytes carry in procession. The supplies that you'll need are in the wine closet in the sacristy. You'll need a bottle of clear oil as well as the brown cardboard box in which you'll find the pins. Bring the bottle of oil, a paper towel, and a pin, and you're ready to refill the candles. You'll want to take the candle down from the altar and put it on the ground so you can see what you're doing. If the candle doesn't fit properly in the base, you may need to cut a circle from a bit of rubber shelf paper to help it fit. The first thing you're going to want to do is to take the pin and find the tiny hole at the top of the candle and push the pin in and out of the hole several times. Next, stick the pin through the wick. This is helpful so you don't lose the pin. It's also helpful because it will allow you to pull the wick down in case it's come up too far. Then, unscrew the top of the candle, reach down, and tug on the wick several times to make sure the wick is straight. Next, refill the oil to the very top of the candle. Replace the top and screw it back in. Now for extra credit, you'll re-oil the wick. Squeeze a little oil on your piece of paper towel, and then gently pinch the paper towel around the wick several times. And you're ready to move on to the next candle. The torch candles that the acolytes carry in procession are just a little bit different. The gold part actually lifts right out of the torch. Just lift it out and set it on the counter. Use your pin to poke the holes and then thread your pin through the wick. Unscrew the top and fill it to the top with oil. Screw the lid back on and replace it in the torch and you are good to go. Next, let's talk about replacing the tabernacle candle. The tabernacle candle hangs above the tabernacle in the chapel. Its burning light indicates the presence of the reserved sacrament in the tabernacle. As long as there is sacrament in the tabernacle, this candle should never go out. When you notice it begin to burn low, it's time to transfer the fire into a new candle. You can find replacement candles in the wine closet in the sacristy and you can find a stick for lighting in the cupboard under the sacristy counter. Your lighting stick and your new candle into the chapel. Carefully remove the tabernacle candle from its hanging stand and place it on the counter. Use your lighting stick to transfer the fire from the old candle to the new candle. Next, replace the old candle with the new candle and return it to its stand above the tabernacle. Carefully carry the old candle into the sacristy and set it on the counter where it won't get bumped. Don't blow it out, allow it to burn all the way out. And then when it is cool, you can put it in the recycling. Finally, let's talk about refreshing the candles at the prayer stations at the front and back of the church. 
you'll find a big bucket of sand near the door between the sacristy and the vestry. Whenever the bucket of sand is running low, you can refill it using sand from the playground. You'll find additional candles in the cupboard under the sacristy counter and also in the wine closet in the sacristy. Starting with the prayer station at the back of the church, replace any burnt out tea lights with fresh tea lights. Also polish the glass and replace the sand as needed. Next, be sure to attend to the candle stations in front of the icons at the front of the church. Dispose of any melted wax or candle stubs in a trash can and ensure there are plenty of fresh candles at each icon station. That's everything you'll need to know in terms of preparing candles for a regular service. The oil candles, the tabernacle candle, and the candles at the prayer stations. There are additional candles that we use on special occasions, but we'll talk about those in other videos. These include the Advent wreath candles, the Christmas candles, the candelabras, and of course, the Paschal candle, which we light at the Easter vigil and continue to light for services throughout the entire Easter season, as well as all baptisms and baptismal feast days and all funerals. Remember, we're all part of a team. If you don't know how to do something, ask. And if there's no one to ask, just improvise. The most important thing is that you do this work with a spirit of joy and love, reverence and collaboration. This work isn't just getting ready for worship. This work itself is an act of worship. Let every task you do draw you closer to God and closer to other members of this community in love.